Well, today's video is going to be about repairs, breakdowns, what's next? How can so much bad luck happen to one couple? Well, here it goes again. Well, as you can tell by the echoing, I'm still here in uh, Terry's massive warehouse working on the bike. Today, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to take a battery out of this uh, FLH. They're all different, I mean, uh, from the different frame designs, but this will give you an idea of uh, how to take yours out if it is not uh, the Ultra Classic FLH. But anyway, I'm going to... That's what I'm going to do, show you that in this video right here. Hey, uh, the good thing is the insurance came through. I got the check yesterday. It's in, uh, in the bank, and I'm going to go spend a lot of it this uh, morning, as soon as the wife gets ready. Uh, I'm going to go order the parts I need and uh, see about when I can get some of this stuff installed. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm going to go with the chrome front legs. And I don't want to get in there and measure all the fluids out and stuff. And the insurance paid me to have them guys do it, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so right now I'm going to show you how to take the battery out because I'm going to get a new battery today. Also going to get a new starter ordered. I'll show you how to remove that in another video. This one's just going to be the battery. Uh, probably won't be too long if I shut up and get to work. So here it comes. Okay, first off, I'm going to show you the tools here that we're going to need, okay? Uh, you need a, a punchy cord of some sort. This is what I use. You may not need it. I use uh, the vice grips. Well, that's just a little pair I found. I'd rather have bigger ones, but anyway, they'll work. I'll show you. I use a half-inch wrench. Glad I didn't hit that half inch wrench. Uh, then I use a screwdriver. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, first of all, you got a little, you either got a screw back here, you can use your screwdriver down here, like so, and pull that out. Or you could got a, you got a little twisting one there, you can take out. Whatever. Take that out first. Now your seat is just going to slide back with a little push it, and there it's out. Your seat won't look like this. It won't have this massive post here, because this is my... I built this myself. I wanted something good and sturdy, and my uh, backrest goes in there. So that's what that's about. You won't have that. Okay, what you're going to have to do is take this off. Uh-oh. Starting to say okay too many times. Move your wires out of the way. You're going to want to take this uh, module off here. I don't know if that's your computer, module, whatever. It's got to be moved. I wouldn't unplug it. You don't need to. So you just, you can, uh, got a clip here. Pull that out. Pull that out. Then you can slide it back and then finish unclipping it like so. And out it comes. There's where the punji cord comes in. Just to hold this up out of the way and be nice, I just clip that rubber bungee there, clip that there, and don't have to put no pressure on it, it's just holding it out of the way. Now, if you can see, you have a bolt here and a bolt here. You gotta take that plate out. So that's where your half inch wrench comes in at. Put that on there and take it out. Now mine is not going to be too tight because I already had it out checking the battery. Do you remember, right? I had them check the battery and they said it's okay. Oh, look at that. Holy smokes. There's a... I'm hoping, that, I'm thinking that's a ground wire, but that's got to be fixed. Look at there, frayed wire. Always looking for frayed wires or anything that ain't supposed to be there. That will be repaired before we put it back together. Okay, now I'm just unscrewing this screw. Man, why did they put one that long in there? They don't need it that long. Let's show you what the screw looks like. You could use a Torx on it too. Where's the camera? There we go. 
You could use a Torx head or the half inch. I'm using the half inch. Because these are not my tools. I don't know where everything's at. I use what I find. Uh, Terry, uh, you know, we all keep our tools in different spots. Yeah, and it's just damn nice of him to let me do anything here. Of course, heck, that's what friends are for. If it was the other way around, you can bet he'd be using my stuff and I couldn't care less. I'd be tickled to help him out. I'd be tickled to help out damn near anybody out there. All of you guys, I think you might have noticed that, that I'm trying to be helpful. Here's your second and last bolt. You're done with a half inch wrench. Okay, now you take this, this plate out and move it over to the side because it's still got a deal. You can unhook it and do all that crap. But, ah, just move it over to the side. Now then, if you can see into here, I don't know if you can. Let me get that camera in there. I want to show you what that looks like right there. That'll work. Okay, we got a little shadow here hiding the... This is your uh, negative side, right here. Now, see, I can take this negative side, I can take this screwdriver and hit other metal objects. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna short out, okay? It ain't gonna short out. But, if I hit this positive side and hit something, it's gonna... So, I always take off the positive, the negative side first. Now, there's gonna be a little nut in there, so you take this out carefully. So you can lift it out. That's with your Phillips screwdriver. Now then, I'm going to lift that out carefully. I'm going to move the wires to the side. I'm going to drop this bolt back in there. And just get it down there snug. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is if I can find any tape, I'm going to tape those up. Hang on. Whoa, with the editing of film, that didn't take too long. Black tape, electrical tape. I'm just going to put some around here, just kind of hold them together. And, and uh, so I don't, I know there's three there. Uh, and the reason why there is three there is I have other things on here that didn't come on here, like aftermarket lights and stuff. Put that around there for now. Give me a little more. Don't have much of this, and I want to save some for the other side. So let's see what we got. Just holding them together. It ain't gonna bother to hit nothing because the battery ain't hooked up no more. Okay, that's out of the way. Now then, I'm gonna get on the other side. It's the same thing, only it's down in here and you can't see it because it's dark. But open it, unscrew it, take the screw out. And move the wires to the side. See, there's more wires that uh, don't usually on a Harley because, like I said, I have other lights hooked up. So I'm moving all these wires. And I'll have to do this again because I got. it takes a week to get the starter, and I'll probably go ahead and put the battery in anyway. Now I'm putting that back in. I'm going to show you why in just a minute. Now I've got... The wires moved out of the way, all except for this one right here. Now then, I'm going to get something and just strap that out of the way. All right, I found this electrical wire laying on the floor. It don't take nothing. It could be a string, whatever, because it, it's not going to have any electricity in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this up in here anywhere just to hold it out of my way. Yeah, there's no, like I said, it could be a string. This has no importance at all. Whatever it is, it, no importance. I just need to find a place that I can tie it. There we go. And that just helps hold things out of the way. Makes it easier to change things. Just tie that like that. A little more snugly. Hold that right out of the way. Uh, 
There we go. Now then, all my wires are going to be held out of the way. That one there, we'll tuck it up here. That's the other ground. All right, now then, you just reach in here and grab that battery. Okay, I've never figured that one out. Uh, my fingers don't fit. So, that's where this comes in handy. Oh, see that little wire? She's sneaking out of there again, trying to get in my way. So we'll sneak it up there. <laughs> anyway, you know, I can move, I can tie that off too. But I don't need to. It's ground. And it's nothing's hooked up. Okay, that's where these come in. You see the little fin right there. Some of these have handles. That's nice. You just take that, clip that onto that. And then wiggle the battery out. Like that. Okay. That's about that simple to take the battery out. Let me get you over here. Ah. Can you see it there? Yeah. There you go. Uh, I use the interstate battery. I use it in all my cars and everything. Uh, they're good, good batteries. Uh, these are a little cheaper than Harley Davidson. I don't know if they're better or worse. It's just my preference. Uh, I was told that Harley Davidson is now making a lithium battery, or someone is making them for Harley Davidson's, and a lithium would be the way to go, but they're quite expensive. And uh, you can't charge a lithium battery up with just a battery charger, so you've got to have a special battery charger. Lots of drawbacks, but the thing is, is they, they hardly weigh anything compared to the heaviness of this battery. I am sure you all know how heavy these are. Well, that's how you take it out. Now then, let's go grab a new one and see what happens. Well, I'm back from town. Uh, that's what we got. There you can see it. Yeah, you can see it okay. All right, what we got here is the battery. They said this is the same battery. Looks like a different number to me. But I took them one battery and they should be giving me the other. Okay, so let's open it up. Here's your instructions. If you've never done this, I'd read these instructions. One thing I'd use is gloves, eye protection, for sure. And okay, then you got your brand new bolts and nuts in there. Let's see what we got here. I'll guarantee you that's your acid right there. <laughs> I don't know. Do I need to tell you don't get this on your skin or in your eyes or anywhere? I hope I don't have to tell you that because if you... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looks like the same battery. Let's see what we got. Yep. Same battery. There she be. Okay. So, now then. And I got that. Oh, what the hell? They stuck that down with some kind of glue or something. Here's all your parts and pieces you're going to need. Probably. Let's go ahead and put them on there to begin with. What the heck did they do that for? Some new, some new something there, so you don't lose your nuts. Uh, let's get that out of there. Okay, cleaned off. Positive side. Uh -huh. Get out of there. Negative side. That's right. Same as it was on the other one. Okay. Here's what I was telling you. You don't want to lose. Those little things right there, you see that? Looks like a bolt, a nut, what is, it goes in here like this. Then your nut, or this, you can go, I guess you could go with the longer ones if you want. I don't need the longer ones on mine because it'll, as long as it reaches that and catches it, then you can lift it up, 
put your wires under there or whatever and go down tighten it down and once you tighten it down you see how that works up and down there it slides in one way only you see that slides right in there like so slides in don't drop it okay like that and then like this now then if you had a battery uh, say you needed uh, the posts to run out this way well that's what this second one's for so you can turn that around sideways and slide it in there and then you slide put this through here put that up there and then that holds it out so you can bolt up flush here does that make sense your cable will be this way well ours ain't that way so we don't need that okay so that's good to start now then the instructions uh, they're right here uh, let's pretend like I'm reading it. I have done this before. Okay, that's pretty simple. Hard to get a hold of that thing. You peel that thing off. Damn, I keep putting my knife up and I keep needing it again. Let's see if we can open it up this way. All right, this is your acid. Okay. You don't need that. Ah, hell. Now I need the knife again. Maybe I should just leave that knife out. Okay. That stinks too. You may even want to put a mask on. It's not good to be breathing it. But I got the door opened right there. Ventilation. Matter of fact, let's get a little more ventilation. I'm all about ventilation. careful here you take this off do not open them I'm not gonna open them I'm just gonna slide this off okay what you not want to do do not want to do is take these off no 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 there's little things right here you tip this over jam it on there that'll break the seals this will go down in there and then you just let it sit there and bubble so you put that like that now I'm going to look away when I do this because I don't want to splatter it in my eyes, no matter protection or not. You heard that? Now then, we just let that go down in there. See, they're bubbling there. I think you can see them. Can you see them? Let me zoom in a little bit on that for you. You got a heck of a zoom on there. You see them bubbling? Okay, we just let that go. You don't pull that off. Oh, mess with that thing till it's empty. Here comes the dang noisy old tractor. You like like if I live on a farm. Already down uh, 20%. See how far it's down there. Now let's, we're going to just let it wait until it uh, it's all the way done. You notice there on the right, I've started to get my stuff together for Sturges. I'm going to Sturges 2019. Okay. And, uh, If you care to meet me, I had to do some cutting there, I had to fix the camera. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, 
If you want to ride along with me, if you check out my Sturges 2019 series, you'll be able to get the information where I'm going to be and where I'm leaving, what the route is, on and on and on. Uh, so you can check that out. Also, uh, you can meet me out there at Sturges because uh, I'm taking my uh, stepson's ashes uh, out there to Bear Butte on uh, August 7th, his birthday, at uh, noon. You can meet me out there if you want. Okay, it's empty. Still, pull that sucker off easy. Watch your eyeballs. You don't want that crap in your eye. You don't want it anywhere. Now we're going to stick this back in the bag here. We're going to dispose of this just the way it says to do so. Throw it away. In the proper proper way. Okay, now we just let this sit here for a minute. Let all that water bubble, bubble, bubble. But what we're doing now, we're going to go ahead and stick on the uh, trickle charger. They said trickle charger will work, so we're going to put this on here and leave it on here for quite some time. And she's charging. Just let that sit there and trickle. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Trickle, trickle. Uh, so I'm gonna shut that off. Uh, we'll let this do its thing for a bit, then we'll come back out and uh, I'm gonna let it trickle for uh, an hour or two. And then uh, put it back in the bike and let it trickle there overnight. Get a good charge before I even try to do anything. But you, this, you save this piece. This piece here, that goes right here. But don't put it on there yet, just set it to the side. Until you're ready to move it, then you could, it could have gases coming out of there. You don't want that shooting through the ceiling. Let her sit. Let her do her, let her cook. Okay, this has been on the charger for a couple hours. So I'm going to put the lid back on it or on it first time really. Do not open it says. Let me get this off so you can see what I'm doing. Come on, come on baby. There we go. Come on, there we go. Now you don't need no rubber hammer knocking these in. They go in like that. Now we're going to put it in the bike. Well first off, I want to show you something I found. found this right here at the bottom. This strap right here. That's how you get your battery out. I thought mine had been broke off, but no, it just been cram down in here and the battery sitting on it. So, this was, you got your battery on it, you grab this, this helps pull it out. You don't need the pliers if you got this. So I'm going to try to figure out a way for this not to fall down in there again. Pull it up through there, let it get a little tight. Now I can stick that battery right down in there. Let's see how that works. I still think I like this way better. Got more control over it, and I'm going to do it. Clip it on there, and I got more control, hopefully. Drop that right down in there. And here's your uh, little string. I'm going to let go of that. 
And then this. Ah! Just a little hitch. Little hitch, wiggle it a little bit. She went in there. Okay, now this strap is still there. I just pulled it through that little hole there to keep it up out of the way. Now this is, uh, what's supposed to keep this thing up here? I don't see nothing. I still got to fix the wire there. I got the tape right over here. Why is, uh, yeah. That don't, that ain't a good idea. That ain't a good idea. I'm going to leave this sticking through this little hole there. I don't know what else goes in that hole, but that's what's going to go now. So I won't forget that's there next time. Okay, so now let's hook up the positive side first. All right, and we got all these little wires tied up here. See this, this one here? She's trying to get on top of that. I don't want it on top of there yet. Stop it. I'm going to just put a little black tape right there so it don't touch it. Okay, so that's grounded. If it accidentally touches it, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Let's get these out. Just untie that, just like we had it. All right. Now then we're going to take these. I'm going to pull this back out. Taking that out. Hopefully you don't drop it. Uh, now that I said that I will. Okay, see I've split these so they'll slide underneath there. So all I gotta do is stick it through the big post. The big, if you can see it, I don't think you can, but it's right here. It's your big post for your, it goes down to your starter. So I'm gonna get that in there. Give it a couple turns. Let it, it's got to catch that bolt, or nut, once it catches the nut, then we can proceed. Grab a screwdriver, that might help. There we go. Okay, it's good and caught. Okay. Now once they get corroded in there, they'll stay where they are. But you don't really want them corroded in there. Okay, let's get this. We've got to get these two positive wires underneath there. Yeah, okay, there was my problem. All right, now then, I'm gonna tighten this up. Okay, if you don't want to use a screwdriver, that's probably a number 10 uh, metric because they always are. Now then all I've got to do is hook up the ground wire. Okay, this side I can see a little better. See it just a little better. Line that up a little. Well, can't line it up with that. Take it in there like that. See, I can see down through there. On the other one, you can I couldn't see because I got the camera over there. So what we got to do is stick this. You can see this. Get a little of the crap off of it. I'm going to be taking these back off. So when I do, I'm going to put some. Uh, uh, battery gel I got on there it helps them keep from corrosion but I'm just showing you how to put this back in when I get the starter I got to take this back apart so I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick this down through here and that caught that right off the bat because I could line it up so I'll uh, I'll show you this stuff when I go to do the battery uh, the starter I'll show you the stuff I'm going to squirt on there and then that'll keep it from corroding. You've had enough corroding. You, you've uh, you've seen all that. That's for sure. So uh, let's get this tightened up. I'm gonna stick these other.
Okay, so we got the connections on, they're good. Got lots of battery there. Now we gotta do is put this top back on. This will, I took this little hunk out here. Eh, I know. It might be, it might not be what. Okay, the other camera ran out of battery and I don't know where. So, I've got it all buttoned up now. So if I didn't get that uh, on the last uh, video, uh, just reverse the steps. It's pretty simple. Everything snaps right into place. Take your time. Make sure the wires are not uh, under anything, like this one here. See, that one's all frayed because the seat was sitting on it. So I'm going to fix that before I put the seat back on. But I wanted to show you this part here. Uh, I broke this little piece out of right here on this cover. Now if you take this off, then you got to take this cover off with these two bolts up here. Well, I broke that little cover, out, little corner out, so I can get in there with a the charger if I need to and hook it onto there without having to uh, pull all this crap off. It was just too much covered. So now I'm going to check all the wires here and then we'll bolt the seat on and uh, we'll call that good. And then when I get done with this thing, uh, or when I get my starter, then I got to take this back off and, and uh, I'm going to put some uh, cleaner on this stuff. I mean, uh, it's like grease. It's a silicone stuff, really good stuff. I used it on the RV. But that's all we're going to do for today. I hope I got enough uh, video to teach you how to pull your battery out and put it back in. Just remember to use gloves and eye protection. Acid will blind you and ruin your day. So, hey, is that me in there? Can I see me? There I am. Thumbs up. Okay, and uh, follow me, subscribe, and uh, meet me at Sturgis. See y'all later. Bye. Okay, can I push the button with my rubber gloves? Oh, I don't know if I can. Let me try. Let me try again.